Yo, 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 what's good? Just reaching out to y'all, man. It's been a minute. Um, recent conversation with some friends and family. I was just talking about um, our ability to assess things. Um, if I said I had two things that I would love to be at a 10 at all times, would be my ability to assess myself and then my ability to critically think. And uh, just conversations with my wife and friends missteps I've made and doing a lot of thinking uh, even wins that I've had I understand that man because I was able to critically or not critically assess my ability or assess the situation I either had a, a win or a loss um, either way I've still learned something so that's a blessing right but at the same point in time, you have to figure out sooner rather than later, first, how to assess yourself, be honest with yourself, and then two, what is critically, what does critically thinking look like? For example, does it go through a series of steps that leads you to a conclusion? And your process and your ability to do that in multiple things or with multiple things or situations will make life so much easier and <laughs> you know as uh i'm a 70s baby so next year i'll be 50 so at that point in time man i, I as i get closer and closer to it not that this doesn't mean the end you know i mean this it's just a, a point in period I'm, i feel like i'm getting better as i age but i want to make certain that i learn and give back to my nieces my nephews my godchildren you know my friends and as I talk to some of them, they are realizing this lesson in their 30s, some in their 40s, uh, some never realize it. Some of it, some of them got taken out because of their decision making. So let's be mindful, man. Let's try to make sure we understand who we are and what we bring to the table and know that you do bring something to the table. And also, man, let's just try to make sure we can think. I can't do anything else. I would ask you to look at a situation assess the situation for first how you fit into it B, the information presented to you have you cross check have you fact checked it most times we just take it take what people tell us at face value like oh yeah it is this because this entity said it was that that's not true that's not true at all you didn't even bother to check that hey in the 40s the fda said smoking was good for you now, we all know that smoking cigarettes isn't good for you. But if you went by what the quote-unquote powers that be told you, the authority, so to speak, you would have been puffing and puffing and puffing and had lung cancer in your, you know, in the 80s or 90s. So, please self-assess, people. Please try to make it a point to first assess yourself, then second, look at situations and do a little bit of research to make certain what is being given to you. Is actually factual or applicable even if it is factual is it applicable to you uh, I'll end on this my sister my late sister was given I believe a year to live when she first got diagnosed with MS at the time and some other rare condition that she had and she told the doctor straight up I don't care what the statistics say I have a daughter and she was like I think my niece was two at the time she says I'm gonna see her graduate 16 some odd years later my niece graduated high school my sister was there again the fact said this is the situation statistically she shouldn't have been able to do that but her mind her will her passion her desire made that possible so i say all of that to say please understand who you are your ability second think just think don't accept information for what it is. Even my information. Think about it. Peace and blessings.